Show off show technicalities. Thousands of people have asked us how we made these videos and what kind of camera we recommend. Here's our setup. We have two LED video lights and a camera strobe with a modeling lamp. And we also are using sunlight from the windows for the edges of our hair. It's shooting all on an iPhone, which is clamped to a tripod. Recording separate audio through this mic setup. For the workbench tabletop shots, we've got this tripod and a clamp with an iPhone clamped to a clamp, which is also attached to a clamp to a tripod. <laughs> For our outside shots, we use a tripod and this shoulder mount that we made up. They use a water bottle for a counterbalance, PVC pipes, and a clamp to hold an iPhone. It reduces camera shake, makes the camera's motion nice and smooth. For our LED lights, we used a CN216 by Neewer, and we adapted them. They're just made to use batteries, so we got a nine volt adapter and these adapter hole things. And inside the box, you have a light, you have the filters, light filters, and this battery adapter. The battery adapter is for using camera batteries, but we are breaking it open. Unscrew all four screws from the back and take it apart. Then we're gonna use that half, drill a hole in it big enough for the power adapter hole. Um, drill fast and hold really securely and keep your fingers out of the way because it's dangerous. Here's the power adapter hole. I um, flatten the leads, stick it through that thing that we just drilled and put the nut on. Make it nice and secure. Push it through as, fur as far as you can. The electrical polarization is like this. Negative on that side, positive on that side. And on the battery adapter, it's like that. So they line up pretty well if you put them in the right place. These little leads on the battery adapter were really slippery so the solder wouldn't stick. I drilled holes. I hope you can see where I drilled the holes. And put it back in place. Little wires. Two wires. Solder them in place so they connect the adapter hole to the battery adapter. And put the thing back together. It doesn't fit perfectly. You have to kind of squeeze it and um but it does fit there it is plug it in the back of your light and you've got power here in this video i, I use the 12 volt power adapter so even though the specs online say that it can handle 12 volts it can't so it flashes and turns off like that if you turn it up too high. But these lights are bright. Here, look at it. I'll shine it on the wall. Or in the camera, too. <laughs> Here's on the wall. And a good way to store it, take the power adapter and the light and the filters, stuff them in a padded envelope, and there you got your kit. This video is part of our technicality series, finding the loopholes in life's monotony. If you're into that kind of junk, subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page to get more fun short videos.